Alrighty guys, this is my uh, second attempt at a cold acetone vapor bath to smooth some 3D printing that I've been doing. The first one, I just did the uh, upside down glass jar with the water to seal it in here and paper towels around the jar. And then I had this set up on a pedestal. And it did a pretty good job. But uh, it didn't smooth the inside as much as I wanted to. So this is going to be our second experiment with it. And uh, this time... I got a uh, polypropylene uh, cat food container. Uh, I chose polypropylene because it won't um, react with the acetone. And you can check that by looking at the recycling code, the PP polypropylene. All right, and then we're gonna take paper towels that are held up by magnets. And we're gonna soak them in acetone. And then we're also gonna have this paper towel in here soaked in a little bit of acetone and then the part propped up on top so that the vapor can come through and really get around it and smooth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull the paper towels out and start soaking them and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so there's the setup. And we're gonna make sure our hands don't have any acetone on them. Take our part, drop it in. I'm gonna move those sticks. Make sure it's nice and even. And we're gonna close it up. We'll come back in about uh, 30 minutes to check on it. All right, so it's been a little bit longer than 30 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at it and flip it over. Starting to smooth out a lot. See it getting shiny. Alright. So let's flip it over. I'm gonna have to put the camera. Alright, so we're going to leave it for another 30 minutes and uh, come back and check on it. And the next one I'm going to have to figure out how to pick it up without touching it so that I don't get any fingerprints on it. Maybe we'll print something out out of PLA because uh, acetone doesn't affect the PLA either. Maybe like a little basket or something. So it's been another 30 minutes on that side. It's starting to really smooth out. I 
think that uh, I'm gonna flip it over again, and then we're gonna go for another 30 minutes on the other side. All right, so it's actually only been about 20 minutes. Um, I'm gonna flip it a little bit earlier this time and then run it in another 20 minutes and then I think I'm gonna pull it out. Look at how nice it's looking now. So flipped it over, and we're gonna close it back up. All right, so it's been another 20 minutes. We're gonna go ahead and pull it out, and then uh, let it dry this time. Look at that. All All right, then we're gonna let that dry and then we'll come back and take a look at it. All right, here it is after it's been uh, drying for about an hour. Looks really good. Pretty much all the layers are gone. The inside looks really good. Much better than the, uh, than the last time. So, now I need to find a way to uh, support it without getting it stuck to it. So if any of you guys have any ideas on that, let me know in the comments. And uh, if you'd like to see more of this, subscribe. Hope everybody has a great day.